Hello, everyone. My name is Si Yu Tang. I'm an assistant professor of computer vision at ETH Zurich. I moved to Zurich in January 2020, and before that, I was a PhD student and postdoc at at the Max Planck Institute in Germany. And originally, I'm from China. My group is called Computer Vision and Learning Group. It is part of the Visual Computing Institute in the Department of Computer Science. My research interest is at the intersection of machine learning and computer vision. One of the most remarkable abilities of humans is to perceive the visual things. As humans, through our eye, we can detect objects, identify people, predict motion, and perform different cognitive tasks very efficiently and accurately. Computer vision is a counterpart of human vision, which enables computers to perceive, analyze, and understand images. Computer vision research aims at developing theoretical and algorithmic foundations for high-level understanding of digital images. And the tasks often involve object detection, 3D scene reconstruction, motion estimation, and many others. In recent years, there has been tremendous progress in computer vision. However, human vision is still a far more robust and error-tolerant system when it comes to the faster space of visual understanding tasks in the real-world setting. And to me, I think it is a fascinating research question how to build a robust computer vision system that can perceive the virtual world as good as humans. And I think the solution to this hard research question will have a huge social and economic impact on the world. There are many different sub-areas and tasks in computer vision area. And my group is particularly interested in high-level visual understanding of humans from digital images. And currently, there are two main research topics in my group. The first one is to perceive and understand humans and understand their interactions with the world. Humans are often the central element in a visual scene, and they constantly interact with the 3D world. It actually has been a long-standing goal in computer vision to develop a method aiming at analyzing humans in the images and videos. This is particularly important for uh, applications like autonomous driving, autonomous robot, and mixed reality. As an example, if we want to build an autonomous agent to work together with humans, it would be important that this agent can understand humans as humans do. It means that we want them to understand our motion, our behavior, our goals, and even our emotions. The question you might have now is why this is hard. Why visual understanding of people from images and videos is so challenging for computers? There are many reasons. For example, human bodies are highly articulated. And we live in the 3D world. When the human body is projected on the 2D images, there are 2D to 3D ambiguities, there are heavy occlusions. Humans also have different clothing types, different accessories. So generally speaking, even for the 2D post estimation task, it has been really challenging for machine learning algorithms to generalize well to different clothing types, illuminations, and extreme camera angles. Together with my students, we work on developing algorithms and implementations for solving high-level visual understanding tasks. The mathematical and computational method, we are leveraging our geometry and physics theories, optimization, and machine learning techniques. Our goal is to advance the frontier of robust computer vision in the real-world setting. The second main topic in my group is to learn to build virtual humans. We want to build virtual humans that look and behave like real ones. Human digitalization is needed in many applications, for example, animation, games, VR, AR, and social networking. Commercial solutions has made tremendous progresses. However, to create realistic virtual humans, 
still need significant artist effort. Here I show example which demonstrate the human digitalization is really a challenging problem. So in recent years, there has been many high quality data sets for 3D indoor things, for example, uh, public uh, data set. And also embodied agent exist inside such 3D environment, such as habitat simulator. These are all very exciting research directions which enable us to do challenging tasks, for example, see understanding from the embodied views. However, if you take a closer look at this environment, a limitation of them is that they don't contain people. The reason such work contains no people is because there is no fully automated tools to create realistic 3D humans interacting with the 3D world realistically and manually doing this requires significant artist effort. So a very interesting research question we have been working on recently is how to create virtual avatars, realistic digital humans that interact with the real world realistically. Towards this goal, we have studied several generative models which model human and scene interaction. And from these models, we can sample 3D human bodies that interact with the world realistically. These are all random sampled 3D bodies given the 3D geometry using our model that is learned from large-scale dataset. Another work I would like to highlight is 3D human motion generation. A crucial step towards understanding human behaviors is to predict 3D human motions in the future. In a recent work, we propose a new autoregress model to predict realistic full body motion. The key idea behind this work is we leverage a statistical body model to eliminate the accumulative errors of a recurrent neural network. So we predict perpetual motion, which is different from the most previous works. And I think the result is quite exciting and it is fun to watch these virtual humans moving this in this 3D world. Our research can be applied in different areas. For example, autonomous driving will detect people and anticipate the human behaviors is really important. Similarly, for the autonomous robot, if we want them to act in a shared space with humans or even work together with humans, it is important that they perceive, interpret, and interact with humans in an efficient and reliable way. Another application area of our research is retail industry. One example is autonomous, autonomous stores, where people can pick up what they want and walk out without the need of a checkout line. As we know, the main technologies behind it are computer vision, sensor fusion, and deep learning. These are used to detect, track, and analyze human behaviors in the stores. We have done several research projects uh, about people detection, people tracking, and human post estimation in the real world crowded environment. For instance, we have studied the mathematical abstractions of the multi-person tracking and post estimation problem as a combinatorial optimization problem. Furthermore, we have studied new learning technique that combine the combinatorial optimization and convolutional neural network and blur the boundary between these two model classes. From the application point of view, these are all relevant to the tasks of automatically understand human motion and behaviors from visual input in the autonomous stores. As we know, deep learning models need large-scale data set and ground truth annotations to train. Depend on the task, but generally it is hard or even impossible to get the per pixel ground truth annotations for the images in the real world setting. For example, per pixel depth annotations for human bodies or for human hand in real images. To address these challenges, people have used computer graphics techniques to generate photorealistic synthetic data to train their deep learning models. 
And such synthetic data has also been used for developing visual recognition systems in the autonomous stores. People often use parametric body models, hand models, uh, digital wardrobe, and motion capture sequences to generate human-related ground truth data for training. In my opinion, our works on human body, pose, and motion generation can potentially scale up the synthetic data generation process where the realistic human behaviors are sampled from the generative model instead of the motion sequences obtained from the motion capture system. And to me, this is a very exciting research direction which we want to develop in the near future. Another example I want to mention is virtual try-on. New devices like smart mirrors create a new interface for virtual try-on. And a key element of such technologies is to accurately estimate 3D human body and pose from visual input. Our recent work, which is called Peace Force Transformation Field, which can accurately and robustly estimate 3D human body and pose from sparse point cloud or even molecular depth frames. And the model is learned from large scale data set and we leverage machine learning techniques. And I believe such model can be quite useful for creating the new devices for virtual triumphs. So in my opinion, in 2040, I think everyone might have an augmented reality glass where we can have hologram to help us to navigate on the street and have hologram to instruct us to use new tools. We also might have a new way of doing video conference, which everyone has a virtual avatar, where we can meet and discuss and work together in the virtual world. One important concern in our research area is to protect the data. When we capture and use human-related data, we should use the data in a very responsible and legal way. In my opinion, the future is likely to be immersive. It even might be hard to set the boundary between what is real and what is virtual. And this immersive world will bring big change to the way we live, we work, and more. And I think it will also revolutionize the industry. The technologies we are developing now for human understanding and human digitalization would provide us important tools to pave the way for the future.